Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, here I am again with a new video for the Soul Guardian. So in this video uh, I'm going to give you some codes, I'm going to make, uh, to give you some tips about the 7 days events over here where we are going to get Tyrantar. I wanted to show you uh, what exactly it is in every single day so you be prepared and uh, be sure to get the Tyrantar. And also I'm going to show you what happened in the safari zone when this uh, bar over here being filled. Okay, so uh, everything will come uh, eventually. So I'm going to start but, uh, by giving you some tips about the breeding. Okay, uh, here uh, you put, as we said in the previous video, two of your Pokemons. If you place something with a Ditto, Eventually you, you are going to get an egg that uh, it will be the specific Pokemon over here. If you breed something else than Ditto, always it is the outcome is, it is gonna be uh, the female. So if you're gonna put uh, uh, a Charmander with something else that is uh, in the same type of... Uh, uh, let me give you an example... So, if you go over here on the species, you will see here on the little icon that, uh, for an example, Rosary is fairy and grass. So, if you want to um, make an egg with Rosary and something else, it has to be in the same egg group. Okay. So, uh, this is gonna you are gonna use this if you want to get an extra moves on. Uh, uh, on Charmander like Dragon Dance and stuff like that. Uh, uh, right now I am building Charmaders. I'm trying to get some good uh, values and uh, perfect uh, IVs, you know. Uh, right now I have some of those but not one of the best. So yeah, I'm still building it. Uh, I'm, and building a lot of eggs. The, uh, this is the, th the only thing that I'm going to say about breeding right now. So next we are going to move on the 7 days event. Before, but let me get an egg, maybe I will have one. Yeah, I have. I'm usually checking it because uh, I'm waiting for my shiny to come. Uh, I have opened so many eggs right now, but yeah. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about this. Uh, if you don't want, if you are, if you make a lot of eggs and you don't remember which one it is, what? For an example, I had a lot of Eevees, Now I'm building Charmander. Not, uh, I don't think all of those are Charmaders. But anyway, if you go here on the all, and after that uh, you unpick everything and pick, for an example, fire, it will show you only the fire Pokemon. So only those three eggs are Charmander. For an example, if I choose normal, it will show me those two that are Aevis, okay? So, at least you get an example of uh, how you're gonna do it and how you're gonna search your eggs. After that, you need uh, Magmar that, with a Flame Body ability that is decreasing uh, by twice uh, the speed uh, for the eggs. If you have also... Let me... Where is the misc? No, sorry. Uh, if you have also Oval Charm, it will have also the process of uh, the egg to hatch. So there are a lot of things, we talked about this already. If you want to, to get some of those, you have to increase your uh, privilege to get uh, VIP 2, 3 and 4 to get uh, everything you need to breed. Okay, we talked about this in the previous video, I'm not going to say that again. So. In the 7 days event you have to acquire those studies over here up to 130 if you want to acquire Tyrantar for free. Tyrantar is a very nice Pokemon to have because it will eventually be on uh, the main Pokemon and the main damage dealer on your team. You're gonna need it, so yeah. So in the first day we have uh, to, ch to challenge some, some tra trainers up to 300 times so you don't have to do it one, uh, in one day you have a lot of days up to seven days at least and after that we have an extra seven days so don't worry about it 
The next one it is uh, upgrade uh, some Pokemon up to level 35. It will be easy for you, so do not rush also. After that we have to uh, rank up some Pokemons. If you don't know what rank up is, if you go to your Pokemon and after that you go to rank up, uh, uh, you have to complete the, uh, the collection over here and after that press the rank up over here. If you do not want to rank up the same and over and over, all you have to do is um, get, uh, let's say, this, that is um, at white state right now. Let me put this and uh, add this to my team. Okay, so you're gonna equip everything and uh, rank up. Basically, I have to level, level it up to 5. There is a, this is a requirement, so yeah. So, after you level up uh, the specific Pokemon to level 5, you can rank it up. After that, I, I, do, I do not suggest you to keep further. Uh, go back, go to research, reset, find uh, the specific Pokemon over here. Yeah, you, can, uh, you have to level it up uh, uh, to 20. But it is free to reset, so let me just do it for you, so you see. I'm going to abandon everything anyway, I, I, I can do it up again. So it's 22, okay? So, so if I go here, reset. I'm pressing this one and it gives me back the material, so you have a free power up. This is one way to do it, if you really want to do it and upgrade one of your Pokemons, at least be sure that you want to upgrade the specific Pokemon. So here it is, I have my uh, materials again and you can do it all over again. Next, we are going to have the Social Master. Uh, here I cannot help you, you need to, to add uh, as many friends as you can. You need 50 friends and there are good rewards to have. So next we have the second day that you really need to uh, win some arena challenges. I cannot uh, uh, help you on this either. You really need to build at least one Pokemon as high as you can and drag it up and start it up and uh, fix its values as I told you in, in the first videos so it will be easier for you to win. Next we have the startup. It is the same process with uh, as we said, but here in the star up, uh, you acquire those uh, star up materials by fighting the gyms, the gym battles. In the first gym battle, you have those over here where you have the Viridian. After that, you have the uh, Pewter, and after that, uh, you have the next one that is green and blue and goes on. Okay. The next one it is challenge with a friend. The only thing that I can tell you is this. This is what I, I have done. I tried it in the first five days and I couldn't uh, fight with anyone and I really don't like to um, to fight with strangers. So I made another account in the, in the same server. You have to be in the same server. If you don't have two different devices, I suggest you to uh, download an emulator like uh, Bluestacks or uh, LD Player and create uh, two instances. You can play on two different uh, games. Uh, create a one time account, and uh, you know, th this is the, the tip for this thing. If you cannot find your uh, player over here, go to the channel, to the war channel, speak, say something like, hey and uh, you can see the message uh, from the other, uh, from the little level account go to your account and add him and it will be easy for you to battle him, okay? You need to level up a little bit the other account but uh, it will be easier for you to finish this task over here. After that we have the type trial, uh, the type trial. I think you know already what it is if you go here on the challenges and go the trial captain over here. This is uh, the thing with the Arceus. What you need to do over here is uh, challenge uh, the normal difficulty or the difficult difficulty, whatever you, it is easier for you. Uh, but I really suggest you to keep further this one because uh, eventually you're gonna need 
those rewards over here for the next challenge that is this one. Wait, here, the hyper training. This is the only hardest part for me to do right now. I don't think I will do it the green plus one for two Pokemon, but at least for one Pokemon, I can do it in seven days. That is why it is gonna take me some time uh, to build it. So you're gonna need those over here. Uh, what you are going to do with this, if you go to your Pokemon and hyper training that is unlocked after some specific level, I don't really remember in which level. All you have to do is uh, do uh, five each of those and after that, let me put this back to computer. Let me put this into my, la uh, my team and it will look like that. It, it is going to be green. So after uh, green is gonna happen, you have to make this 10 again and this will be uh, green plus one. So this is how it is go it has to go. It will take some time, so I just want you to be uh, prepared. After that, you have to catch uh, a specific uh, amount of Pokemon, uh, for an exa exactly 30 Pokemons. After that, you need uh, to push sides and energy. I do not suggest you to do it every single time, but uh, I suggest you to do it one or two times each day. Because in the first and the second time I think it is 50 and after that it goes up to uh, 100 so I do not suggest you to use it more. I haven't used it for today so that is why I was waiting for it to use it with you. Next, uh, do not care about those limited uh, specials, I'm gonna talk about this later. Next we have the Safari Master, uh, you, you have to enter the Safari a lot of times. I suggest you to do it one by one every single day. You don't have to go all together because I'm gonna tell you why after I show you what happened with uh, uh, with the progress bar, okay? After that we have to um, unlock specific uh, amount of Pokemon in the Pokedex. Uh, this gonna help you if you go over here in every single city and press on the map, you're gonna see a specific type of, of Pokemon, okay? Uh, I catch every single Pokemon in every single area I've been uh, right now, until now, and specific if you go here on the Pallet Town, oh sorry, if you go here on the Viridian Forest and press here on the mag uh, Magnified Glass, you're gonna see a lot of uh, butterflies, that is, uh, they are in the same uh, place I think over here maybe somewhere, so you have more than 30 po uh, 41 basically Pokemons over here. So it will be easy for you if you go there and catch them all. I suggest you to have a lot of Pokeballs and a lot of patience to, to catch them all, okay? Next, we are moving to the Pokemon League. Uh, I, the only thing that I cannot really understand from this one over here, and this is not Arena, it is this one over here. Oh my god, from the challenge Pokemon League. It is, I cannot understand what time it starts. It, it is always says that it, not in matching time. Anyway, I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, I'm from Greece and uh, I have to see uh, from which time they get there, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna find it out so you figure it out yourself, okay? After that, we have the Pursage Gold. I suggest you to do it two, uh, two times a day. As I told you, every time you pursue uh, gold, uh, this amount will increase. Uh, for an example, if you do it once, it will be uh, 10 go diamonds. If you do it twice, you, it's gonna be 20. So I do not suggest you do it more than uh, two times a day, okay? If you wanna take it as cheap as possible. Next, we are moving on the day five. Uh, it is the Atena Forest. If you don't know what the, uh, this is, uh, you go here on the adventure and moving here on the At Eternal Forest. I don't know why this is... There is not Eternal, but anyway. So, if you start with the Eternal Forest, for an example, if you go here, you're gonna see... Whenever you press... every, Basically, if you press everywhere, you're gonna see what kind of teams they have, so you can be prepared and uh, have a team, okay? So what I suggest you for here is uh, upgrade at least three of your best Pokemons. Let me go 
in the last one because I cannot change uh, the select. Okay, if you go here on the selective line lineup, uh, you cannot change anything. You can only change the the rotation. You know, you can just bring this first or this uh, third. Uh, you can just do this. The only thing that uh, you are able to do is reset this one and change the team, but. I think it will go back to the last point and I really don't remember which one it is. Uh, I, I I have gone already uh, up to uh, 30 floor, I beat it, uh, that is why it is unlocked from me over here on the 7 days. Uh, if, you, if you see over here uh, you need to clear 30 floors, I did it already, I, I, I just did it with my Gerados, with uh, you know. I was play, playing uh, with uh, Dragon Dance and stuff and I beat all of the teams. Easy, okay. Next we have the best pieces. Uh, all you have to do is reset friendship. This is an easy thing to do. All you have to do is go to your team and uh, just take a random Pokemon and go to each friendship and reset as many times as you like. If you want to uh, build this Pokemon, it's okay. Just make it. It, it will be easy for you. Uh, next we have uh, the spent diamonds. I suggest you whenever you are ready to spend diamonds to, to spend them by 5000 uh, totally. Do not spend them uh, little by little but spend them by spend 5 di uh, diamonds 5000 five uh, diamonds this day. And how and what I, I really suggest you to do if you go here on the limited uh, challenges, you're gonna see in the second day, I think. Let me find it a little bit. Yeah, so in the second day, you're gonna see this uh, price over here, the Gacha coin. This is gonna help you a lot. So I really suggest you to spend those uh, over here first. After that, uh, at least spend uh, 3000 more over here. So you are up to 4,500. The rest you can easily uh, go to the limited specials and uh, buy some more extra. This is what I did. So I don't know if you wanna do some more uh, gachas, but uh, I bought some great balls. Okay, I bought this uh, offer and I bought this one. And I think another one. Anyway, so this is the best possible option for you to spend your uh, your 5,000 diamonds. I really suggest you to do that, okay? Now we are going up to the uh, day 6. I kept the last one for you to see it. Uh, that is working. I, uh, you don't ha I know that it's uh, really hard for, uh, for you into the game to evolve Pokemon, so I have a free way for you. So if you don't know that uh, Pokemons uh, if you really want to uh, to evolve Pokémon into the game, you need some. Uh, let me, for an example, get this EV over here. If you go here on the evolution, you need specific amount of uh, items, materials to to evolve them. So it will be so hard because uh, you get them from a specific uh, places. It it is hard, right? So I have a free way for you. So. Let's get this Caterpie, okay, and go to the Caterpie and evolve. It only needs to be level 7 to evolve. Look at this. This really helped me because uh, I didn't need, know it either. I just find it uh, accidentally because I, I was trying to increase my Pokedex amount for the uh, ranking system that I told you I couldn't do it. I was at 26 rank and I need it anyway So it being evolved right look at this It counted it So here you are you have a free way of uh, evolving Pokemon's you don't have to spend uh, materials uh, without wanted, okay? Next you need to get some uh, Pokemon X at least this is easy uh, all this time we are talking, I have already an egg. Okay. Okay, we got an egg. If you stay here and do st stuff like upgrading your uh, your Pokemon, you're gonna see a lot of eggs ca are coming and easily. For an example, every 5 to 6 minutes, 
I didn't count uh, right now, but it is giving me a lot of eggs. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of eggs, so this is gonna be easy for you. At least put random Pokemon. Uh, th there is no point for you just to finish this specific uh, quest. After that, you have to hatch those eggs. Uh, for an example, you need three uh, eggs to hatch, and after that, you need to uh, to play Gacha sometime. That's why I told you to buy those limited specials because you need. Uh, 10 from there, from the limited special, 10 for, from, the, from the 10 that I told you and after that you have 10 days uh, each day it is giving you one time free okay, free countdown so you have what you need you don't have to spend any more than 3000 uh, for, for this event so if you want to play some more gachas it is okay for you but this is all you need to do R right now I'm gonna take it slowly and I'm gonna do it one by one each day or two uh, by two each day because if you finish your quest you are getting another one for free from here so you know how this is going after that we have the last day the last day it is a little bit tricky because you need every single thing it needs you need to be 55 level and I have stuck two days now at 79 level I cannot go further the only way to level up faster it is to spend my diamonds, to get energy, to level up my pokemons and spend them whenever, uh, let's say here, I'm not going to spend the world, you know, my energy here. Yeah, it, it, it does this. And uh, depend uh, the NPC that you are going to fight, depends also the XP that you are going to get. Let's say for an example, if you go here on the adventure, Dynamax uh, adventure there is the normal and the lint as we said so if I fight the uh, normal uh, let's say this one over here bleeds I'm getting 6 XP per run and if you go to the elite uh, let's say this one for an example you're getting 12 so it is ba basically to, uh, the cost is doubled as you can see over here so if you want to finish fast your uh, energy, you're going to blitz uh, the elite section of uh, the enemies. I suggest you to finish first all of your Pokemon with uh, their star ups, and uh, after that, uh, finish the rank up ticket. Uh, every day, whenever I log in, I finish all all of those first. Uh, after that, I'm get I'm getting to the next Pokemon, and if I finish and I don't have anything else to do then I'm going back to the rank up and fin fighting the NPCs this is what I'm doing every day so uh, it will be a little bit hard to, to finish uh, this uh <coughs> this thing so the 7 days uh, the seven date as I told you uh, you need to be 55 level uh, also this one this is a specific uh, uh, dungeon that is open at 50, 50 level or 55 let me let me check it out it I think it's here yeah it is here rune tower 55 level so I think it will be easy if I pass from this 50 level it will be easier for me to go further but anyway so uh, that was my tips for m for the seven days event. I hope it really helps you. I I think it will help you because uh, mo the, the most of the tips that I gave you, it will save you time and materials. And uh, believe me, this will help you uh, focus on more important Pokemon. Okay. So the next one it will it is the Safari Zone as I told you. So. Uh, as I told you in the previous video, whenever you finish this line over here, uh, a legendary will appear, something like that. Whatever it says here is, every time you enter the safari zone, your daily fortune will increase. Once, once. After the fortune, uh, the fortune is full, legendary Pokemon will sel certainly appear. I thought whenever I uh, fill this up, because I had uh, Celebi yesterday, I will take Celebi over here, so it didn't happen. Uh, if you want to see it for yourself, uh, as you will see in this video, you will see that uh, I acquired Meloeta. I wasn't really... I was surprised also, I thought I was gonna get Celebi, but anyway. The thing that uh, I didn't know that it was 
to be in a specific spot for 24 hours and after that uh, it will disappear so whenever you like you can fight it uh, you can be prepared for this one so that is why I really wanted to give you this information so from now on whenever you are ready and whenever uh, 20 uh, of those fortunes will fill the next time you enter the safari zone uh, the timer will start so be sure to know that also I didn't know that but I was prepared I had master balls so it didn't bother me I still have enough uh, master balls and yeah you understand right so I really suggest you to be sure of what you're gonna take so uh, that was the video guys I hope you enjoyed it be sure to claim one of those codes over here uh, I have a lot for everyone be sure to claim them before the 31 of the month because they will expire I will up I will try to upload as many videos as possible I really wanna hear your opinions uh, the game has a lot of mechanics like uh, f uh, you're going for a fishing uh, you are fighting there are a lot of different co contents uh, I really want to hear your opinion uh, where you are strangling I'm still learning the game you know as you see over here I'm getting a different kind of eggs every single uh, minute so I really wanna I really want my first shiny as I told you whenever you get shiny this effect like uh, the Gerados over here will appear on the egg so I will know if there will be any good so right now I didn't have any good values for uh, any Charmander uh, oh, I'm getting only three but I'm gonna fix this one so yeah so that was the video I hope you enjoyed until the next video see you again Bye.